The Hubble Space Telescope has taken some breathtaking images of our universe which otherwise wouldn't have been possible. Ever since its launch in 1990, it has taken thousands of surreal photos that boggle the human mind. Just take a look at this newly forming giant exoplanet from the constellation Auriga, which is nine times the mass of Jupiter. However, the telescope was able to record considerably more significant events. Astronomers' perceptions of a variety of cosmic mysteries were altered by their images. Hubble even evolved into a time machine that let researchers explore the early universe. What other breathtaking views did the telescope record then? And how did a single Hubble image permanently alter science? The Hubble Space Telescope had to work really hard to provide us with the ability to view deep space. In the 1970s, the need for an orbiting observatory was raised. Scientists sought photos of deep space that were more detailed than those obtained from Earth. Because of the light's absorption and distortion by our atmosphere, observations are challenging. Before we show you some more breathtaking pictures, let's quickly recap Hubble's history. The United States Congress gave NASA permission to build a space telescope in 1977. They made the choice to give it the distinguished astronomer Edwin Hubble's name. The construction of the massive observatory mirror was the most challenging. It was made of heat-resistant glass with extraordinarily thin but tough coatings. A 65 nanometer thick aluminum layer shielded by a 25 nanometer thick magnesium fluoride layer. It found out that the complete space telescope was almost the size of a school bus. Its main mirror is 2.4 meters in diameter and weighs 827 kilograms. This mirror collects light from an object in space and reflects it onto a 0.3 meter diameter secondary mirror. The optical tube was filled with this smaller mirror. It creates an image in the telescope by reflecting light through a hole in the primary mirror. It is then delivered to scientific equipment. There were six such instruments at the time of Hubble's launch. These planetary wide-angle cameras feature a collection of 48 light filters to emphasize different light spectra. The planetary one allowed for a significant rise in the number of observation locations while the wide-angle one had a wide field of vision. A high-resolution spectrograph, another gadget, was created to function in the ultraviolet spectrum. The telescope can see dim objects that a specialized camera has caught with its assistance. Observations of variable stars and other objects with shifting brightness are possible using the High Speed Photometer (HSP). Furthermore, the Fine Guidance Sensors (FGS) track adjustments to the object's position. The HST's tail section housed the scientific equipment. Six gyroscopes are located closer to the center and are used to help the telescope point at an object. The Hubble Space Telescope also has four reaction wheels that enable it to alter its overall attitude and focus on a target. The middle chamber held the two main computers. The first one is made to communicate information to Earth and issue commands to the equipment on board. The other one is responsible for managing the system's guidance, gyroscopes, and other operations. Two wing-like solar arrays measuring 12.1 by 2.5 meters each were also installed on the telescope to convert solar power into electricity. The telescope is operated in part by this electricity. For the times when Hubble is in the Earth's shadow, the remaining energy is stored in the onboard batteries. The telescope uses roughly the same amount of energy as five refrigerators each day, or 2100 watts on average. It accomplishes this by orbiting the Earth every 95 minutes while traveling at a cruising speed of about 27,350 kilometers per hour. Four antenna were positioned in the vicinity of Hubble's wings to ensure that it would constantly be in contact with Earth. Satellites are used to send all data and orders. Hubble's readiness for launch excited astronomers. Finally, the Space Shuttle Discovery launched in 1990 with a telescope that weighed roughly 10,800 kilos. That about equals the weight of two adult African elephants. 
The massive payload was securely transported by the ship to a low orbit, 550 kilometers above Earth. Scientists soon received the eagerly anticipated photographs, but they were met with confusion as opposed to cheers. It was obvious that Hubble's huge mirror had an optical flaw. The quality of Hubble's early photos was impacted by an aberration that was 1 50th the thickness of a human hair. Four servicing missions saw spacewalking astronauts repair, maintain, and enhance the telescope. Since Hubble is nearly 10 billion times more sensitive than the human eye, it has been scanning the universe for more than 30 years and has never ceased to astound us. Hubble records everything in black and white, but scientists later alter these photos using a method that replicates how the human eye naturally perceives color. Let's take a look at the most beautiful of the telescope's millions of photographs. The Butterfly Nebula is located at a distance of 2,500 to 3,800 light years. The fading center star that resides within the nebula gave rise to the designation NGC 6302. The star is extremely hot and radiates ultraviolet light brilliantly. Over 965,000 kilometers per hour, the butterfly's gas wings are traveling across space at a temperature of nearly 20,000 degrees Celsius. At the M87 galaxy center, a blue light stream of electrons and other subatomic particles may be seen in a different Hubble photograph. Particles are accelerated to speeds that are close to the speed of light after being drawn in by a massive black hole. M87 has a massive black hole that has sucked up 2 billion times the mass of the Sun in stuff. The Eagle Nebula's representation of the pillars of creation is thought to represent the beauty of our universe. These heavenly pillars of gas and dust clouds appear to have been made by a more powerful entity. Young, enormous stars that have gathered around the pillars emit powerful ultraviolet radiation that illuminates their strange shapes. New stars are already forming in the pillar's cocoons, which are obscured from our perspective. And almost simultaneously, Hubble found these four amazing celestial objects. The telescope discovered UGC 10214, a galaxy 400 light years from Earth that resembles a tadpole remarkably well. The galaxy collided with a smaller neighboring galaxy some 100 to 200 million years ago, taking a long tail of stars and gas with it. With 6,000 other galaxies in the distance, the Tadpole Galaxy drifts across space. A dramatic collision between two spiral galaxies known as the Mice is seen in a different image. They will eventually combine. And the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy will suffer the same fate. The spectacular Cone Nebula was captured by Hubble as it got closer to Earth. It has the appearance of a lofty space mountain peak with rocky peaks. Of course, it is made out of frigid gas and dust rather than solid rock. Even the Swan Nebula, often known as M17, a celestial maternity ward, has been observed by Hubble. The lighting results from the birth of stars, which include the building blocks of planetary systems. The vivid lights in this picture mirror the city lights at night. This is how the 4 billion light years distant galaxy cluster Abel 370 appears. Mysterious arcs of blue light are tangled among hundreds of galaxies in this intergalactic nursery. They were made using photographs of the furthest galaxies hidden behind the bright galaxies that were light distorted. Hubble cannot directly capture them because they are too dim. However, the cluster's gravitational pull serves as a massive lens, enlarging and stretching images of the background galaxies. In a house of mirrors, one can observe a similar phenomenon. The gravitational lensing effect in the cluster has caused the appearance of multiple duplicates of almost a hundred distant galaxies. The dragon is the most breathtaking illustration. The spiral galaxy is extended out in a series of repeated images. The image that follows is special because it essentially establishes the existence of enigmatic dark matter. Astronomers treasure this photograph. The galaxy cluster CI0024 plus 17 
located 5 billion light years from Earth, is surrounded by an odd ring-like structure. According to scientists, two enormous clusters collided in the distant past. Massive clusters cannot be held together by the gravity of their own stars during such an occurrence. Thus, this might be dark matter that eventually coalesced to create a ring. Dark matter is typically invisible because it is made up of fundamental particles that are currently unknown to science. However, distant galaxies in the CI 0024-17 cluster shone their radiation into the cloud, illuminating it. Finally, you will see the true nature of the cosmos. Astronomers made the choice in 1995 to forego their usual practice of pointing the telescope at a galaxy or star. This time, instead of aiming for the constellation Ursa Major, they selected a region of the night sky. This is the field of view Hubble had at the time, and this was sufficient for the telescope to completely transform astronomy. Over 1,500 galaxies at various stages of evolution were found by Hubble. Some of the most likely developed during the early stages of the creation of our universe. The Hubble Deep Field was developed in this manner. There was more to it though. Based on the original, the Hubble Ultra Deep Field image, which is thought to contain 10,000 galaxies, was created in 2004. The most distant red dim galaxies are among the galaxies in the photograph, which include galaxies of varying ages. According to scientists, they were born when our universe was only 800 million years old during its formative years. The Hubble Extreme Deep Field was then released by astronomers in 2012. Ten years worth of data from the telescope were compiled to create it. The near-infrared camera and the advanced camera for surveys captured more than 2,000 photos, some of which showed galaxies that were even fainter and farther away than before. Later, the image was augmented with even additional galaxies. Will Hubble be able to further enhance its universe view? Nobody can be certain. Old is the telescope. It experienced a month-long period of downtime in the summer of 2021 as a result of the main computer failing, and after a few months, there were issues with the synchronization of internal messages. But Earth sent help to fix the issues. Additionally, the observatory has undergone five space-based upgrades and repairs. There are no more missions anticipated, despite the fact that it is in low orbit. As a result, nobody will be available to fix the telescope if it breaks. However, even in the absence of major problems, it may still return to Earth. Scientists added extra equipment to the telescope during earlier Hubble repair trips, including the ACS and NIC MOS cameras. Thus, as it grew older, the piece of equipment added around 1,350 kilograms or 3,000 pounds to its weight. The observatory's orbit eventually becomes shorter as a result of the extra weight in its free-flight condition, bringing it closer to the planet. Astronauts created a tool to deactivate the telescope in order to avert a catastrophe. It will be permitted to deorbit if necessary and splash down in the Pacific. Another option is to send it far into space. But for the time being, nobody seems eager to pack up the special telescope. Hubble has a chance to continue operating even without repairs until 2030 to 2040 thanks to engineering studies. If so, Hubble will have enough time to collaborate with the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope. Webb is able to observe the universe in infrared light, but Hubble is stronger in the optical and ultraviolet range. Both telescopes would be able to study the same objects or phenomena from different angles, but no matter how events unfold, Hubble's groundbreaking images will never be forgotten. The telescope has allowed us to see galaxies at all stages of their evolution and discover protoplanetary disks, distant stars, exoplanets, and black holes. It showed that space is not empty and black, but bright and full of celestial bodies. Hubble even did the impossible. It sent us to the universe as it was 13.4 billion years ago.